Grouper, the mudfish Pokemon, a water and ground type first discovered in the Hoenn region. Swampert is the final evolution to Mudkip, one of the three designated starter Pokemon for trainers in Hoenn. I heard that everyone really likes it. Swampert is a very powerful aquatic Pokemon, with eyes keen enough to see through the murkiest of waters, and is able to swim faster than even a jet ski. It's also able to detect approaching storms thanks to its fins. But even out of the water, it's still a monster. Those huge arms aren't just for show. Swampert is strong enough to smash entire boulders with very little effort, and it's even capable of towing large ships with ease. Its strength is nothing to scoff at, and now it's here today to show everyone just what it's capable of on the battlefield of Pokémon Unite. Swampert I see in the Defender role, boasting great bulk while also being able to dish out some strong attacks. It will also be pretty good at being generally obnoxious to the opposing team, but it won't exactly be the most mobile player out there. Swampert will always start matches as Mudkip, which evolves into Marshtomp at level 4, then into Swampert at level 7. It'll have the usual water type starter ability, Torrent. This version of it, though, will make Swampert immune to being blinded, and when its health drops below half, it gains an attack boost. Swampert can be a physical melee attacker, having a three-hit basic attack with the boosted attack dealing additional damage and briefly stunning opponents who get clapped by Swampert's powerful arms. Its first starting move as Mudkip can be Mud Slap. This simply has Mudkip splash a clump of mud forward with its tail. Opponents hit by this mud will take damage while also getting mud in their eyes, limiting their vision for a bit. They'll probably also want a bath afterward. In fact, the same can be said about the majority of attacks in this moveset. The mudfish likes mud. Who'd have thunk? The other starting move, though, can be Rock Smash. This has a boulder appear in front of the user, and they immediately smash it, causing debris to fly forward. Foes standing directly in the spot where the boulder appears will be tossed up. Any opponent hit by the flying debris will be shoved away, and to top it all off, Pokémon hurt by this attack will have their defense lowered. At level 4, when Mudkip evolves into Marshtomp, that's when it's able to replace Mud Slap with its first option of stronger moves. The first of these moves can be Muddy Water. This has the user splash in its current spot to create a muddy wave that crashes forward. Opposing Pokémon hit by this wave will be briefly stunned, and they'll also be blinded. And when it's upgraded at level 11, Muddy Water will become stronger, dealing more damage. Now, Muddy Water will also have an after effect. When it's used, a muddy spot is created in the location where the user splashed to create the wave. These mud spots remain for a little bit before they evaporate, and any opponent who steps in this mud puddle will have their movement speed lowered for a bit. Now, for the other attack to replace Mud Slap, I've chosen Mud Shot. This has the user spit forward three shots of mud from its mouth, spitting one shot at a time in quick succession. Opponents who are hit by one of these shots will be slowed down, but if a foe is hit by all three shots, then they'll be stunned for a bit. Mudshot will also be a move that leaves behind mud spots, ones that function identically to the ones made by Muddy Water. But instead of making them in the user's location, they're left in the spot where Mudshot is fired into. When Mudshot hits a target, that shot disappears on contact and will leave a mud puddle in that spot where it hit the target, hence why it slows them down. But you can still leave mud puddles around you even if you don't hit anyone with it. Mudshot has a limited range, and if it flies its set distance without hitting any Pokémon, then a mud puddle will be left in the spot of its max distance. Lastly, when Mudshot is upgraded at level 11, the three shots become five, increasing the damage and making it more likely to slow or stun opponents. Now at level 7, when Marshtomp evolves into Swampert, that's when it can replace Rock Smash with one of two new moves that both take advantage of Swampert's powerful arms. The first of which is Hammer Arm. This has Swampert smash the ground in front of itself with both arms, causing mud to be splashed all around itself. Foes hit by the splashing mud specifically will be shoved away. If you're hit by the sweet spot of its hammering arms, though, you'll take way more damage and you'll also be buried into mud, unable to move for a short bit. Now, here's an interesting detail about Hammer Arm to keep in mind. 
it can actually be comboed with the mud puddle left behind by Muddy Water or Mudshot. If you sweet spot opposing Pokemon with Hammer Arm while those opponents were standing in the mud spot, thanks to the ground being even muddier than usual, the forced mud bath they take will be nearly doubled in time. Not quite the spa treatment I think they were hoping for. And when Hammer Arm is upgraded at level 13, its area of effect is increased, making the mud splash farther and the sweet spot of its hammer punch a tad bigger. It's almost like upgrading the move made its muscles okay. larger as well. And finally, for the other move that can replace Rock Smash, it can be Rock Slide. This has a large round boulder up here in front of Swampert, and it begins immediately pushing that boulder forwards with a dash. Then after the dash, Swampert shoves the boulder to slide it even further away. One can argue that this move could also be the attack called Strength, but in this context, it's pretty interchangeable. In which case, foes in the sliding boulder's path will be stunned and pushed along with it. And if you shove the boulder into a wall, it shatters immediately, which cancels the rest of Rock Slide's animation. Additionally, Rock Slide can also be comboed with the mud spots left by the mud attacks. If you slide the boulder through a mud puddle, it leaves behind a muddy trail in the boulder's path, which simply increases the puddle's area of effect. And when Rock Slide is upgraded, also at level 13, Swampert will then become unstoppable for the move's full duration. So Swampert, regardless of what sets you use, is pretty obnoxious to deal with, as to be expected of someone who likes to splash mud all over the place. It's great at distracting opponents while also getting in some strong hits while that does so. If you see a Swampert, you'll want to make sure you bring in your heaviest hits, and maybe a bottle of off-road wash. Uh, bigger than that. There you go. Boar Swampert's Unite move, learned at level 9, I call it Bulwark Bog. This has Swampert smash the ground with all of its might, causing the area all around it to tear apart and erupt with boulders and mud. All opponents who get caught in this attack will be tossed into the air with one big hit of damage, and they'll also get covered in mud, so they'll really need a shower afterwards. Oh, and that mud blinds them for a little while. Allies who were within the bog also get covered in mud, however, this mud adds an extra layer of defense to their bodies. In short, it grants them all a shield. Bulwark Bog is the ultimate team fight flipper, adding some extra support to your allies while completely disorienting your opponents. If you're stuck in the mud, the more you fight it, the deeper you'll sink. So sometimes it's better to calm down, back off, and regroup. That really is the best advice I can give when going up against the Mudfish Pokémon. And that does it for What If Swampert was in Pokémon Unite! So, if you have any Hollowware ideas for Swampert, any of the previous Pokémon that I've made Unite movesets for, or even any of the Pokémon currently playable in Unite, share your ideas in the comments! Or, if you want to make artwork for your ideas, share that with me as well on Twitter with the hashtag WhatIfUnite. I'd love to see them, and I'd be more than happy to show off your art in the next episode, though please be sure to put your signature on them. In which case, if you enjoyed what you saw and would like to see even more Pokémon be given possible Unite movesets, be sure to subscribe! Also, be sure to go check out Crashy's channel. He's been a big help in developing these movesets, and he's been great with helping others improve their skills at Pokémon Unite. So definitely look him up if you want to increase your win rate. And if you want to support my channel and help me be able to make more content for you guys, you can click the Join button either below the video, the one on my main page, or the link in the description to become a sponsor for my channel. Doing so will get you access to my Discord server, as well as channel emotes. You can guarantee that your name appears in my videos, or even get the option of knowing what what if characters are coming up next a week in advance? I really do appreciate anything that can be contributed. And of course, if you have a character that you want to see be given a possible Unite or Smash moveset, leave a comment down below or contact me on Twitter at Brawlfan1 on Twit. I hope you all enjoyed and thank you so much for watching!